from this vantage point, we can point out several features of it. First of all, this openness that connects vertically computer engineering, electrical engineering, and computer science, and blends them more in uh, as a community, socializing, communicating, working together across discipline boundaries, great study areas. Here is storefront that shows what software developers are doing. This is the digital design lab, which in storefront shows what? Assembly of circuit boards and programming and testing of the devices on those circuit boards, what that's about. And so when you come through here, you can see students doing that. If you look up here, you'll see floors two through four have these lighted rooms. That's some more of these team rooms, little conference rooms for the students to use during the day. Um, the administrative offices are on this floor, and there are two classrooms on this floor and one classroom the next up. Let's go to the second floor, and then from there we can see some more features. So you see the student who's taking one of their classes can just come up and knock on the door. But on the other side of the faculty yeah, member's right. office is a sliding glass door that opens up into the laboratory where their graduate students are working on their research projects. So there's this connection with the students. You've been seeing these large team rooms. Uh, but here is an example of the small windows. So you see, you look at that, you see the dots on those windows? Yes. Those are called frits. The east, the east rising sun, that rejects a lot of the solar heating that would otherwise come in here and helps in energy conservation. But then we have on four, two through four of these forum rooms, which were designed as kind of study lounges or meeting rooms, uh, can be used for a uh, seminar or a uh, organizational meeting. You see it's got lots of um, audio visual and areas for refreshments and then a conversation area and a meeting area and you can rearrange the, for the furniture according to what event you're doing. When we get up to five, I'll show you some of the research laboratories, what they look like, but also a uh, congregating space, which is a, an outdoor terrace at the fifth floor. And the fifth floor is the only floor that is not openly connected to that uh, grand entry. So this way, and we'll see some labs, very representative to the way labs are configured on all the floors. So you'll see here that this is the, so the student, the, the research team's view of the faculty offices at the sliding glass door. And then reasonably private and separated but flexible space where the students can work. They can, they can concentrate pretty well, but then they can also communicate with one another because what they do is inherently interdisciplinary. microcircuits. So this is a place where they're using lasers and also a place where they're doing technology to produce chip level 
laser devices. Um, so since they've got their danger sign up, we won't go inside. But you know that's where all their high-end hardware is. Um, and even even though they're you know kind of enclosed, they actually have the same kind of windows that you see here. If they can, so they can connect with the outdoors to the extent that they want to. Mm -hmm. We uh, are in the process of vastly expanding our laboratories for uh, solid state electronics. And just down this hallway is an unfinished area, what the architects call uh, shell space, that uh, we've just approved the project to go forward to the Board of Regents for approval to build a semiconductor clean room, which is very high level, very, very pure air control so that you minimize the contamination that might happen on these semiconductor surfaces that are really nanotechnology. You're basically building a product one atom layer at a time. Um, so it truly is nanotechnology. And the kind of work that they're doing here is mid-infrared laser circuits that are used for things like night vision in the military or for analysis of a gas which is useful for analyzing the, the breath of a patient uh, to identify compounds that might be um, markers for a possible di disease process or um, to detect threat agents in you know a terrorist kind of situations where they're releasing some kind of a chemical or bio uh, terror agent. Um, so these devices are valuable for that sort of thing. There's also a big green energy project that they're working on here, which is semiconductors that do waste heat recovery. Um, uh, the Department of Energy uh, has a new program where they, it's called ARPA-E, it's an acronym, we can give you that later. But they asked for proposals. They received 3,700 proposals. They made 37 awards. That's 1%. One of those 37 was this team led by Dr. Pat McCann that are working in this uh, waste heat recovery uh, energy uh, technique. So this is, the, this is the terrace that we mentioned. Let's go on, out on it for a moment. As you can imagine, this is a great place for students to enjoy the outdoors, congregate. But also great for social functions, including game day receptions. All of the spaces in this building are accessible to the students by their one card student ID badge. All students in the College of Engineering and all students in the College of Earth and Energy have those privileges to be able to, by card slide, come into these spaces. This is the place where we honor the Nichols family that uh, are the driving force behind the Devon Energy Corporation. So Larry Nichols, for instance, there's a bronze plaque that uh, tells a, a little bit about his story. Um, he's the chairman of uh, the board of Devon Energy. So he and his wife and his father and his mother are honored by these plaques on, on the columns here. So if you come out a little bit further here, you can see very nice view of the campus. There's the athletic practice facility that was one of the inspirations for our indoor practice facility. You can actually kind of watch the Jumbotron on the oh, football yeah. uh -huh. games here. And then a beautiful view of the campus in the southern part of the, of the town. And that's the tour.